Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho on most platforms. So find me there. All the info's in the description down below. But today I have for you a Goodwill outlet haul. I went there for a very short period of time. I had about 30 minutes to shop. It was the end of the day. There was no new rotations, which is always like the most interesting. Can you find good stuff at the outlet at the end of the day when there's no new rotations? I've got my receipt here. This time I got 30 pounds. I spent $1.79 per pound plus tax. So my total for everything was $53.70 before tax plus $5.26 for tax. So my grand total was $58.96. I have two big bags and as you can see, I'm in my warehouse right now. This is where we store all of our inventory, shoot photographs, ship, do all the things. We don't sell everything here. We sometimes send it out for consignment or just sell it in different ways. I'm gonna tell you what I do with everything today. And then additionally, I think I'm gonna have some boxes, some like bins boxes. I haven't done these in a while. I used to do them a lot when I traveled to thrift. I'm gonna do, I think some of those. I don't know that I'll have probably more like than three or four boxes. So if you're interested in purchasing one, I'll link them down in the description below and you can go then grab them. Let's get into the first bag. Let's unzip it. First item on top. Okay, I think this is a Patagonia top. I think this is their Capaline. It's a size extra large. I have picked these up before and they do tend to sell fairly quickly because it's like a base layer. I don't see any snagging on the garment, which is really great because these pieces, again, tend to have them. People wear these as a base layer when they're doing their outdoorsy activities. It can be a good pickup. We'll sell this here at the warehouse. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't have time to run a lot of comps on stuff. I was just picking and because I only had 30 minutes, you kind of have to move quickly. So this next piece I grabbed because it just looked really cool. I actually found this right when I walked in. So somebody had thrown this back. It's a vintage piece, it's called Jair, Jair California, G-A-Y-R-E. There's what the tag looks like, but it's this beautiful and colorful, not silk, it is polyester, uh, Moo Moo. It's got some yellowing on it. So I'm gonna take this home and I was gonna soak it, but actually I see that it can be machine washed because it is not silk. So I will do just that. It's really gorgeous. I love it. Okay, next up is this brand, it's called Lease. I think it's a, they make athletic type pieces. So this was kind of interesting. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but this is like a button down shirt of theirs and it's really stretchy, which is kind of interesting. This is a size large. And I think I'm gonna put this into one of my bins boxes. But anyways, I thought it was a cool piece. So this will be one item that I put in the boxes. I think I'm just gonna do five pound boxes. So not necessarily a number of garments in them. It'll be more by the pound because I pay by the pound, which feels like it makes sense to me. Uh, the next piece is Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren. This is a size extra large. That's what the tag looks like. It's kind of just like this boho type top. And again, I picked this up to go in a box. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. The elastic is there in the armholes, <laughs> the arm openings. Yeah, I'm like, it's not shot, is it? This will also go in a box. There's actually a box over there. I'm just throwing stuff. Oh, you can see it. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, these I find all the time. Shout out to my friend Stacy from Instagram. Hi, we saw each other at the outlet today. So anyways, I was telling her I always find these and then I never find the bottoms, which is so frustrating. <laughs> but I always find this candy cane style Hannah Anderson pajamas. So I grabbed it hoping I would find the bottom. I didn't, but I'm gonna still sell this top. So this is a kid size five. It's a really popular style at holiday time. So just some food for thought in terms of grabbing it. Okay, this I picked up. It's a J, their pair of J Jill linen stretch pants. These are a size extra large. Man, I lucked out on these larger sizes today. Anyways, I grabbed this to put in a bins box. Also, they're cute, they're cropped. I thought these were nice for summer. Again, elastic waist, not shot. Okay, these, <laughs> again, I can sort my cart. That's okay, it's fine, I'll sell these. <laughs> I think I was hoping I would find the bottoms for these. They're really nice Banana Republic pajamas. I think also these are linen. These are a size small. All right, this next item is a pair of ex officio pants. These are men's size 36. And these are those style of pants uh, where they're like cargo and they zip off and they turn into shorts. Oftentimes I feel like I don't find both pieces at once. I find just usually the top shorts. Uh, I will sell these. This is a great piece for summer. People are hiking, camping, doing all of those things and they want pieces like that. This will be another item that I will sell here at the warehouse. These are the Heli Tech Performance. I think they're kids size 10. Uh, snow pants 
and they do have a flaw here on the back, which I didn't notice when I picked them up, but it's not the end of the world. That's fine. Just because again, kid stuff and outdoorsy stuff, as long as it's like in mostly good condition, people are okay with that to pay a lower price because kid stuff and outdoorsy stuff is expensive. All right, next item. Oh, this is super cute. This is the brand Umji and it's a size small. And it's just this really cute top. I don't know, the material kind of feels interesting. It's stretchy. And it's got this raw, what is it, shark bite? Is that what it's called, shark bite hem? I just thought it was really cute. I like the colors of it. It's cotton and polyester, but it's got a stretch to it, which is kind of interesting. So anyways, that I picked up from my bins box. This is a torrid cardigan, which I also picked up for Z bin box. This is a size three, which is their vanity sizing. And I didn't get a chance to like look it over. So that's why I'm doing that now. It's in good condition. It's got some light pilling to it, but nothing too crazy. Like if you had a sweater shaver, so you can't even really see it. This will go, oh wait, hold on. Here we go, here we go. Okay, I might just sell this myself now. There's a snag right there. I could trim that. It's not the end of the world. Not gonna put that in the box. All right, next item is, I think this is a kid's or a women's. It's a size extra small Columbia. I think, what would you call this? A teddy bear jacket? It could be a women's. Anyways, I'm gonna use my comb. Huh, I've got it right here. This thing, I've linked it before. There, you can see it really, really well right now. I have linked these before. I buy it on Amazon and you just go like this and it really makes the, what do you wanna call it? Fleece or whatever this stuff is, soft again. We'll wash this and then I'll do this. I have another one of these too. It's like a short little stubbier guy. This, I don't even know what brand this is. It, it's a piece of shapewear. It's new with tags. It's called Empetua. So I need to look this up. My thought was to just throw it in one of the boxes. I think that's what I'm just leaning towards. I'll just throw it in the box. There you go. All right, next piece is left of center. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, left of center. I believe this is sold at Anthropology. It's a size extra small. It's real cute. It actually reminds me a lot of the Umji top. Again, I'm trying to see if there's any flaws on it. I don't see any. The tag, oh, it's not. It could have been sold at Anthropology, but this one does not have the 66170 as the RN. So anyways, it's just real cute. We'll put that there. Where else do they sell left of center? Do you guys know? I'm not sure. This, oh, this was so cute. <laughs> this is just a girl's Zara top. I just thought it was so cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I'll save some items up and do like a kid's box. Cause I was thinking like maybe like a kid's one, a men's one and a women's one. But I don't think I grabbed enough kids or men's stuff today. Speaking of, I did grab this men's sweater. It's a Nordstrom men's size, extra large sweater with this Argyle print on it. And this one, I think is like wool or cat. Yeah, it's extra fine merino wool, 100%. It's in really great condition. So we'll save that for rainy day. This, I'm not sure of. I'll look up comps later and maybe I'll display them here with uh, some editing magic. This might be nothing, but it looked interesting to me. So here's the tag. It says J Davidson. It's a size small. It's either very shrunken or this is a child's. However, what made me look twice at it, it does say on the inside here, 100% Icelandic wool. And then it does say hand wash gently. My plan was to sell it here, but I don't know. I, I don't know what I'll do. Okay, this next piece is it's the St. John's Bay new with tags vest. It's, yeah, it's new with tags, it's $34 size. Is it petite small? It's a petite small and it's 100% genuine leather paneling here on the front and then it's just a rib knit on the back. So we'll toss that over there. Okay, this was another piece that I thought I could put in a box. This is super cute. It's a Puma women's, I don't know if it's women's, teens, whatever, size extra large dress. I don't know about extra large, but maybe, okay. What would you call this, like a bodycon fit to it? It appears to be, I would say like new, but I'm not gonna make bold statements there, but it looked like it. As I was walking in, I saw somebody had thrown back this small little Kate Spade travel bag. It's real cute. Like, you know, you hang it in the bathroom and yeah, it's definitely probably an older piece just from looking at the tag there. Anyway, I'll clean it up. Not sure what I'll do with it. I could send it into the real real or just sell it myself. Okay, next bag. I think this is a men's shirt. Yes, this is a men's Columbia shirt. It's a size large. I am going to sell that here. I like the colors. It almost reminded me of like the Burberry coloring. Not exactly the same, what do they call it? Nova check print. 
Okay, next, I picked this up also for a box. It's the brand Dolan Left Coast or Dolan t-shirt, this one says. Size extra small. Oh, let me show you what it looks like. <laughs> it's got this lace panel, almost like a raglan style, three quarter sleeve. It looks to be in good condition. I don't know if this one is, yeah, this one's not from Anthro. I know this brand has been sold at Anthro, but anyways, throw that over there. Okay, this is a LuLaRoe piece, but it's new tags. <laughs> So that was my thought. Plus it's leopard print and I feel like people just like leopard print. I don't want to call it timeless because that feels like a bold statement to make, but yeah, there's pockets in the front, et cetera, et cetera. So again, I'll throw that in a box. Next we have, oh, I picked this up for a box also. This is a J. Crew size zero gingham button front. Sorry, I'm just checking the pits. There could be some fading there, which makes me a little bit nervous. So maybe I actually won't put that in a bag or in a box. Yeah, I think there is some discoloration, which is too bad because I have seen influencers that I follow on social media wearing gingham. So that's a bummer. I don't know, I'll probably just sell it as is myself, so. Okay, next piece is this St. John's Bay size extra large skirt. And it's real cute, actually. This was originally $32, new with tags. It's got this tie front in the front. It feels like an athletic wear piece. So anyways, that'll go in a box. This is a pink Victoria's Secret t-shirt. It's a burnout tee. It's a size large. Just checking the pits, trying to look for holes. Okay, throw that in a box. Okay, I grabbed this because I think it's new without tags. Either that or that's maybe where they put the Goodwill tag on. However, it is a fairly current piece. This is April, 2021. So from last year, it's the Mr. E-Waste, something like SLI black. I don't know. It is, I, they feel like satin and they're cropped and I just thought they were cute. So I was gonna put it in a box. I don't know, actually, what's that? What's this business? It looks like something was clamped to it. Oh, I think it's a hanger. Maybe I'll take it home and wash it and I'll just sell it. It is machine washable, so that's the good news. It is a Mac Studio new attack piece. It's a size extra large. Originally, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so not sure where this tag is from. This is $24.97. The Mac Studio tag says $88. So you can rip off whichever tag you want to sell as MSRP. But, oh, you know what? There's discoloration here. That's too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna take this home and I'm gonna clean that up and then I'll just end up selling this myself. I thought I would put this in a box, but nope. This is what you get for not sorting. So it happens. Uh, this I just thought was a fun piece. I know it's from Target, but it's the Victoria Beckham for Target. Now I know they originally did that line, I wanna say in like 2017 or 2018. And then they did a reissue, I think at some point in the past year or so. So I don't know if this is a reissued piece and I'm not sure if it would say on the inside. Yes, it does. April 2016, so this is one of the original ones they did. I just thought it was cute, so I'm gonna sell that. This is a Hannah Anderson little, I don't know, what do you call it, onesie crawler sort of thing. It's a size 60, which I never know what that converts to, but it's just really cute. I always pick up Hannah Anderson. This is just a kids, I think, North Face jacket. It's a size small, I wanna say. Oh, it's a large, 14, 16. Ooh, maybe I should keep this for my son. Yep. I'm definitely doing that. It'll eventually get resold. <laughs> but for now, that's gonna be his coat. This I grabbed for a box. It's Joe's, which is Joe's jeans right there. It's a size extra large sweatshirt, pullover, hoodie. Yeah, I don't know, I thought it was cute. I think it's in good condition. It's got some raw hem issues going on here. I suppose you could trim those up. Okay. I'll put that over there. This is another piece that I had hoped I would have found the bottoms. Maybe somebody found the bottoms and they didn't think they could find the top. I don't know, but it's Hannah Anderson double XL women's pajamas. And it's this cute palm tree print. So yeah, unfortunately I do not have the bottoms. So I'll just have to sell the top. This is a North Face jacket. It's a girl's size large. Yeah, it's just like a little puffer jacket. These things probably sold for a lot of money. There are some leak points here. I don't know what you would wanna call them. So I'll just have to note that. I'm gonna take it home and give it a little wash and I'll probably depill it as well, but I'm gonna have to be really careful because of this material. Again, it feels almost like, I don't know. I don't know what it feels like, but it feels like I could mess it up really quickly if I'm not careful. At the end of the day, it's not a big deal. It's just from the bins. If I messed up, it's a little bit sad if I messed it up, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, next item is, oh, another Patagonia piece. This is a sweater. It's a men's medium. I think this is wool. 
it feels like wool. Yeah, it's a really nice piece. I think older because, yeah, it's merino wool. That tag just looks a little bit of an older style. But anyways, yeah, there's that. So I did hit like a kind of a solid little patch on my way out. A lot of times you'll find that at the end of a bin towards closing time, people will go through their cart and they'll ditch the stuff that they don't want to take home with them for whatever reason. And that's when I can go or anyone else can go and swoop in and see what people threw back. So like that Patagonia piece and the North Face and I don't know what else was one of them. This I found at the end of a bin and it appeared at first to just be an armless shirt, but it's actually a Nike shirt and it's new with tags. The tag couldn't be seen because it was in the sleeve, but I felt something in there. So I grabbed it. Not sure what this originally sold for, but it is a Nike dry fit top. Is that a men's? Kind of looks like a men's. Anyway, we will sell that here. This again was something that someone threw back. I don't know why. Maybe I'll find out why. It's an Iro piece and this brand sells for a lot of money. It's a size 38 and I don't know what that converts to off the top of my head. My first thought was, oh, did these come loose from here? No. Is it missing a belt? No. Is it, I don't know what's wrong with it guys. It looks just fine to me. So yeah, score, I'll be selling that here. All right, this is so pretty. I don't know, I'm like, do I keep this? I was planning to just put in a box, a bins box, but it's a brand, like, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, Lith, L-I-T-H-E. It is 66170, it's a size 10, and it looks like it was maybe a vintage. It hasn't been sold probably at Anthropology or Urban Outfitters in a while. I don't know, I might sell that, because I feel like I could throw in like cottagecore as a keyword. Maybe that's my, that's my thought. That's my initial thought. Okay, this is a Trina Turk romper. Here we go. Super cute romper. Again, this was thrown in where I found that Iro piece and it does have a couple of loose strings here, but I'm gonna cut those off. And it does have some molded cups in here, which is kind of nice. So great little swim, swimwear piece. This is Madewell's Texture and Thread, which is just a diffusion line of theirs. This is a super cute piece. So I'm gonna throw this in a box. That's really fun. It's a size small. What else do I got? Oh, these are a pair of BP leggings. They're just new with tag. And you know, I can't resist new with tag. So we'll throw those in a box also. This is an REI women's t-shirt. We'll sell that here. This is, oh, I can never remember what this brand is called. Uh, Anthro brand. This is what the tag looks like. It's a size extra small. And my thought or plan was just to throw this into a box. I don't think I see any flaws but I can never remember what this one's called. What's it called, guys? <laughs> oh, that's gonna kill me. Until one of you chimes in and tells me, of course. This is, I think, a men's size medium button front shirt, button up shirt. It's new tag size something medium, $50. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could put that in my pile of when I have enough to do a men's box. This is a Madewell tank. I think I have one of these, to be honest with you. And it's a size large. Oh, bummer. I was gonna toss it in a box, but there's like a little bit of discoloration there. So I won't, I won't do it and I'll just sell it myself. This is a Nike dry fit pair of leggings, size small. I was thinking of putting these in a box. I don't know, they're pretty good. There's not any pilling at the crotch. The only thing is that there's mild cracking on the reflector strip on the back, but I don't, I just don't think that's a deal breaker. Yeah, we'll throw that in a box. Okay, this, also was thrown back near that Iro dress. It's the brand Theory. This is Old Tech Theory, and you can tell because the letters are spaced out on the Theory. It's in, it's in okay condition. <laughs> There's some discoloration and a little bit of maybe just shedding. I don't know, I'll give it a look and I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, I'm just, you know, I'll sell it as is. This is a pair of boy size 10 shorts from The Gap. Yeah, again, I'll probably just save that for when I can do a kid's box and for it to, Makes sense. And last is a pair of H&M pants. Super shiny, they're new with tag. They've got a clearance tag on here that says $15.99, but I don't think that was their original price. Look at these, wow. These are something else. They're a size two. Yeah, there's that. Oh, I guess I have a couple things here. This is an Old Navy tank, size medium, burnout. It's maternity? I don't know if it's, oh, it's maternity because it's got the ruching on the side. I was gonna say, what's up with the ruching? That's, that's like it, guys. I have this. You don't care about these. I don't even know what they are. Maybe I'll put that in the kid box. <laughs> and then look, I did get some Gucci. Check out this. It's a Gucci ribbon. Where's the rest of the Gucci though? 
that's the only part of the Gucci I found. So anyway, if you're curious and you want to grab one of those boxes, I don't know that it's going to be more than like one to three. <laughs> I'll put those in the description down below. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Talk to you soon. Bye.